folks, welcome back to another informational video with yours truly, Sam Healy. Today we're taking a look at this expansion campaign for Massive Darkness that is going to be available. It is called A Quest of Crystal and Lava. I'm just going to give you a look at what's going to come in it and so that you can make uh, the determination on your own whether or not you're going to want to purchase this when it becomes available. So, without further ado, let's get down to the table. I'll show you what's there, and we'll come back afterwards. All right, so first off, the expansion campaign comes with nine new, big, huge tiles uh, of normal terrain that can be added to and used with Massive Darkness um, whenever you want. But uh, and then it also comes with six other tiles that are double-sided, of course, uh, that bring some new uh, rules to the game. So basically, I just wanted to show you each of these tiles because, quite frankly, the artwork is very good on all of these tiles. I really like how uh, just... Each one has just a, all these little Easter eggs that are all over it. Really like that a lot. Just very fun to look at, even as you're playing the game. It's just very picturesque, very uh, in, 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 in enrapturing, I guess you could say. Just really pulls you into the story. You have some water or fog or something like that. I don't know what that is. That's really neat, though. Some kind of torture chamber up here on the other side. All of the different light zones and shadow zones and all that good stuff. Really cool. Uh, but uh, just the artwork is exquisite on these things. I love the, the mural or the banner that's on the floor. It's having been torn down. A little rug on the... Oh man, these are just really neat looking models. A staircase that goes down. That's neat. Uh, just a lot of cool stuff in here. Really nice. So as you can see, this is just you know par for the course as far as the game is concerned and the artwork that's there. But I, I did just want to take a few seconds on each one and show you what it looks like so that you can get an idea of, of uh, what you're going to be getting in that box. Then you also have uh, these guys right here. Now there are two other kinds of zones that are in the game. There are crystal zones, which are what are being shown here. And we'll go over each one and show you each one as well. Uh, now. The new rules that are added are, 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 are such as this. First of all, the crystal zones that are here are all considered light zones. And then the corridors are all considered shadow zones on these tiles. So all of the uh, crystal zones are the chambers on these crystal tiles are considered light. And the corridors are considered shadow. Uh, so basically what happens here is uh, that every time a um, hero ends his activation in a crystal zone, he has to roll one blue defense die. And if, he, if it rolls a blank effect, then there's no effect. If it rolls a shield, then he gets to heal a wound. If he rolls two shields and the sunburst, then the hero takes two damage and is stunned. So you don't, you know, it's kind of a, a very peaceful atmosphere, but you don't want to take too much of that in because, you know, you'll, you'll get distracted and, and side sidetracked and all this other kind of stuff. You don't want that to happen. So I'll just continue showing these again. Corridor is shadow. The chambers are light, like so. So again, just a lot of really cool artwork in here. Looks like a little mine excavation or something like that over there. Really neat looking stuff here. Um, just really neat. Just showing you these. All right. And then on the other side of these crystal tiles, you have the other kind of tiles that are here. And those are the lava zones. Now, opposite from the crystal ones, the crystal, the corridor, the corridors were the shadows and the chambers were the lights. And the, on the lava, it's flip-flopped. The chambers are all considered shadow zones, and the corridor parts of the tile are considered light zones. All right, so uh, any hero ending his activation in a lava corridor automatically takes one wound, uh, and it can't be prevented by armor or anything like that. Enemies are accustomed to this, though, and basically ignore the rule. Some special rules also apply to lava zones according to the simple quest or scenario that you're going to be going through. So uh, that's pretty neat. So uh, don't have to show you the other side of that. So basically these are all the different lava zones that are going to be in the uh, expansion campaign. And again, it's just really neat artwork and uh, it shows you uh, a lot of neat stuff there. All right. 
So let's get back up top. All right, so those are the different things that you're going to be getting in the package of a quest of crystal and lava. Now, you're also gonna be getting the actual quest campaign book as well. And if you go through this, there are six scenarios uh, that are meant to be played from one to six. And so it's this uh, enveloping campaign that you're gonna be going through, leveling up your heroes and all this other kind of stuff. I don't wanna show you too much because I don't want to, uh, you know, uh, spoil anything for you. But basically it starts with scenario one where uh, you're going into and there's a few special rules for the actual quest itself. But basically, except for the different uh, rules that the tiles themselves are going to be enforcing upon you, uh, you just basically just play the game the way it normally does. And then there are, of course, as I just mentioned, some of the quests have special rules that are enforced for that specific quest as well. So I think it's pretty cool that they came out with this um, again. This is just an informational video uh, letting you know what's in the expansion. I'm looking forward to giving this a try because I always like it how uh, when, when companies give you more ways to play the game, um, you know, they change a couple of things here and there, but I really like how they put some thought and process into giving you a whole new quest that you can play through after you're done with the one that comes in the main uh, box. So I really enjoy that. Now, over the next few weeks, this was kind of the first video in this little jaunt I'm going to be taking into Massive Darkness, just basically showing you uh, what's available, what's out there, whether you want to purchase it or not. That's the main uh, point of this entire uh, little series of informational videos on Massive Darkness and everything that's going to be available on the retail market market for it. Now, on top of that, there's also going to be uh, some, you know, I, I have this little thing here. It's a uh, replacement card pack that they're making available as well. So whenever I have a card that comes up here in some of those videos, I'll be showing you the different replacement cards and why they're being replaced or what have you uh, as well. So I wanted to let you know about that. But that's it for this video, a quest of crystal and lava. Uh, six scenarios that you can purchase and there you have it. We'll see you guys on the flip side.